Hello everyone and welcome back to the EVE Online tutorial series. Uh, previous episode we uh, made our little character here, Angela Oscold. We uh, gave her some blonde hair, blue eyes, nice figure. And today we're going to look at the, uh, the first steps into the EVE Online world. First which of being is the login screen. Uh, after you log into the game with your account, which is different from your character name obviously, you're brought to this screen. On this screen you get uh, some info information about your, uh, your character, your main character, which is this one. You can also uh, make two more characters on the same account, though there are some restrictions which I will talk about later. Um, yeah, well, here's the uh, name for the selected account. This is the corporation your uh, character is in. <coughs> Location, which is the, so the star system and station you're currently docked in. Active ship. Skills, this is the amount of skill points you ha your character has. Uh, the amount of money you have. Amount of hour you have, which is the currency you can use to buy new clothing and stuff it's more like uh, microtransaction money that's separate from the uh, from no normal cash and your character's security status which I will get into later here you can terminate the character if you want and it will say are you sure you want to submit Angela Oscar to the biomass processing queue no we don't want to because we just made her but what will what this will do is it will put um, your character into a, a queue. It will put a start a timer for about 10 hours, and after the 10 hours are up, you can uh, come back and make it permanent. So you can permanently del delete her. So in that, uh, even if you get hacked, sometimes if your account gets hacked, someone can't just uh, delete your character without you finding out about it. At least, unless you're like you don't log in for an entire weekend, then they could. But Assuming you log in daily, you uh, you would uh, find out about it in time. So that's one of the preventive measures that uh, CCP, the game developer, has taken to uh, prevent people from having deleted, having their characters deleted. Uh, on the right here, you have uh, some news about the game. It's mostly uh, out of game news. You also have some. Uh, some in-game news like uh, which uh, which races are at war with with what races and stuff like just uh, in story in story news bits anyway let's get started we're entering the game as angela oscold and uh <coughs> we start out in the uh, in the station with our full body character. We're not in a spaceship yet. This is our uh, captain's quarters. You can, uh, this is your private room in, uh, in any station. Any station you dock in will have this type of room. Though each station might have one that looks a little bit different because they are different for each race. So Kaldari might have a little more bluish and more streamlined while uh, the Minmatar ones are, well, this is a Minmatar uh, captain's quarter. You can walk around here. You can um, you can sit on the on the bench if you want, or you can click here. This is your ship info and some nice big big television screen, which you can uh, display all sorts of information on. And lastly, there's a mirror here, which you can use to. Um, Recustomize your character like we did in the uh, in the previous episode. Though there you can't customize everything like I said back then. You have to. Um, you can only customize your clothing, your hair, yeah, and stuff like that. No, we don't want to customize the character now. Um, all the things you can do in here. So uh, customize the ship and and the info on there. You can use the shortcuts on the right hand side here and on the left hand side. And lastly there is a door here. Well the door. 
in the future the stations will be expanded, at least that's the plan, so that you can walk around in more than just your captain's quarter. So you can interact with other players and stuff. But as of right now, this is uh, you're, you're stuck here, unless you go to your ship. There's no running option, so you can't run around. It's very slow to uh, to walk up to your uh, to your ship if you would have one. Down here is our capsule, which is uh, what we will be in when we pilot the ship. And when we actually get a ship, it will be docked right in front of us on that pad down there. It will take up the entire space up here. Which looks very awesome, and I will show you that in a minute when we actually get a ship. For now, I'm going to um, follow the tutorial, because the tutorial has been uh, overhauled quite a few times since I started playing, and it has been said that it has been improved quite a lot, because the old tutorial was... Uh, <coughs> well, it was unsatisfactory. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> uh, speaking about the tutorial, EVE Online is not a game where you want to skip the tutorial. Believe me, when you start playing even after you watch this video, do the tutorials and ask for help, because you will need it. So, let's, uh, let's see what the tutorial has to say. Welcome to your new life, pilot. I am Aura. I am an instructional AI. You can navigate the tutorial by using the back and next button. Yeah, whatever. I could have sworn that there was audio with this. Why is there no audio with the tutorial? Let me see, let me see. That's weird. Must have taken it out again. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh well, because we can't really help that. This tutorial will teach you the basics of survival in New Eden. It will take around 90 minutes to complete. 90 minutes, people. Take your time for this. It will help you a lot and will prevent you from dying every time. During the course of this tutorial you will receive your first ship. Weapons and defensive modules, a brand new skill to train, and some money to start you off. Click next when you're ready to proceed. Your current tutorial state is always saved. If you close the tutorial window, blah 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 blah. Next. Alright, we have a, uh, a rookie help channel, which you will have access to in the first... 30 days of your account, so if your character is less, uh, is no older than 30 days, you'll have access to the rookie help. And in here you'll find, uh, you'll find other players who just started playing. And you can uh, ask for help on all kinds of, uh, all kinds of things. It's very useful, don't be afraid to, uh, to ask questions because there's a lot to learn. And there will always be people that are willing to help you. So, uh, yeah, make use of it. Next. To begin your certifica certification course, start a conversation with me, Aura, through the highlighted Agents tab of the station menu. To speak with any agent, click the Start Conversation button in the Agents listing. Alright. <coughs> Let's go to the Agent tab. It's up here. An Agent is a... Um, it's an NPC, really, that you can uh, you can compare it to uh, quests in other MMOs. They will give you a mission and you can uh, do the mission and in return you will get some money uh, or items. Start a conversation. Hello Angela, Scott. At the moment all you have to fly is a capsule. Our first priority is to get you into a starship. Your assignment, follow the tutorial steps. I will guide you to a hidden location in space. If you ever get lost, remember to use the back and next buttons and read the tutorial slides, or you can quit the mission and start over again from the beginning. Alright, so this is a basic uh, mission window. On the left here, you can see the, uh, 
the agent telling his story. You can see the, the station he's based in. You can see your standing towards that agent, which means uh, how good he likes you. And on the right, <coughs> you can find uh, some mission information, like the objective, what you have to do to complete it. This uh, little icon will indicate if you have failed the mission. Uh, if it's in progress, then it's uh, this little round thingy. If you uh, completed the mission, it will be a uh, little V, and if you failed it, it will be a cross. You can, uh, the location where you have to go for the mission, you can right click this and uh, point yourself in the right direction. And the rewards that which you will get for completing it. In this case, we will get a skill book, which we will uh, talk about later. Down here, you can accept, decline, or delay. We're going to accept this mission. Good luck, Angela Oscott. Once you've, uh, you think you have uh, ev you've done everything to complete the mission, you can come back to your agent and hit complete mission. We can't complete this one because we haven't done anything yet, obviously. So let's close out of that. Next. Um, blah, 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 blah. We already did that. Closing windows. I think everyone knows how to close the windows. If you want to, to read your mission again, just to know, uh, get some information back, you can double click here on the uh, accepted mission you have, and you can read back the objectives and where you need to go. How to undock from stations. When you undock for the first time, you will enter space in your capsule. The capsule allows you allows a specially trained pilot like you, a capsuleer, to control their ship by thought alone. Ooh, fancy. Capsules also function as emergency escape vessels in case the starship they are piloting is destroyed. Now that you are ready to undock, you can exit the station by pressing the undock button located at the bottom of the neocon. <coughs> Alright. Well, let's just do it the uh, the proper way. We're gonna walk to our little capsule here. And now we're in space. Woohoo! Enjoy the view for a moment. Rotating and zooming the camera. Well, this is pretty basic. You can just drag the camera around by clicking anywhere in space and uh, dragging around. Behind us is the station. It's always uh, Stations are always in orbit of a planet. Or a moon. I should say a moon. They're never in orbit of a planet. They're always in orbit of a moon. Uh, yeah, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. It's pretty uh, pretty basic, really. Then we get the overview, which I'm going to rearrange a little bit. The overview uh, lets you see everything that is in the immediate vicinity and in the station uh, in the system you are currently in. <coughs> For instance, this system has three stargates that lead to other star systems, and one station, which is the station behind us. Uh, when you can also see other players, for instance, some uh, someone just undocked from the station, right there. They will. Uh, you can see the distance, which they are from you. Uh, AU stands for light years, basically, and KM stands for kilometers. Um, Twelve kilometers might seem very far away, but in Eve, that's pretty close. It only gets far away when you start talking in light years. Anything that's in uh, in kilometers is pretty close. Because uh, we just undocked and we're, al we're already 15 kilometers out from the station, so that indicates how fast we're actually going. Uh, inspecting the selected items panel. Clicking on an overview entry will show you that item in the selected item panel. 
immediately above the overview. So yeah, we have these uh, we have the station selected right now. So it shows some uh <coughs> some basic info about the station. such as um, some info, you can show info on anything in the game location, services we'll get into that later uh, and you have some some simple buttons, you can uh, dock redock orbit you have some buttons which you also have when you right click in space or on an object how to identify objects in space and on the overview by their icon Broken squares are ships flown by capsuleer pilots like yourself. That's the player right here. Crosses are those ships not flown by capsuleers. If they are red, you may shoot them. Yeah, these crosses are uh, basically just NPCs. Players are always these broken squares. Crosses are always NPCs in space. Stations are the uh, continuous square bracket. Using warp drive to move around the star system. Every ship in uh, in EVE Online has a warp drive to get around quickly because we don't really want to uh, want to move light years at this rate because we're now moving at the maximum speed this capsule can go. So um, yeah, our mission is up here, and we can uh, we need to go to uh, Amold 1.0. That's the uh, security status of the system. We're already here, so we can just warp to the location. Warp drive active. We'll activate the warp drive and we'll go there. <coughs> As you can see down here, we're moving extremely fast right now. So instead of uh, moving at just a few kilometers per second, we're now moving at a few million kilometers per second. Which is uh, always preferable, of course. Here's another uh, another person following the tutorial. Alrighty. Once you've landed at the mission location, I'm going to teach you how a few more basic controls. The left mouse button is used for selecting things, pressing buttons, dragging and dropping, and other command functions. The right mouse button is used to bring up the contextual menu. Alright. In EVE Online, Listen very carefully. In EVE Online, the right mouse button is your best friend. When in doubt, right click. Because when you right click, you get everything you need to know in a small menu. You have your agent mission right here, which you can uh, expand into the agent home base and your mission objective. And you can expand that to give you options on uh, show it on a map, warp to it, approach the location. In this case, it's the uh, the beacon down below. But you can also click on the uh, acceleration gate here. In which case, we'll have an option to activate the gate. You can also left click on it. In which case, the acceleration gate will be highlighted up here on the right hand side and you have the option to activate the gate how you do it is your personal preference I prefer to use the, uh, the right click menu because it's just a lot faster, you can just right click, activate gate but if you want to do it differently, that's up to you oh, it wasn't a player, it was my actual ship <laughs> Your ship is waiting for you. To board, right click the ship and select the board ship. This will load your capsule into the new ship. Whenever your ship is destroyed, the capsule will be ejected. Ships not flown by capsuleers will never attack your capsule, but other capsuleers flown ships might. Alright, this is our ship. Gonna have a quick look at it before we board it. Right click on it, look at, you can take a close up look at the ship. So this is the uh, the ship we are so graciously given. 
Looks pretty awesome to me. I think we'll uh, this will do nicely. We can uh, right click in space, reset camera, and we'll go back to the uh, our capsule. So let's board our ship. Right click, board ship. And now instead of the capsule, we're controlling the ship. Um, yeah, next. Acceleration gate. Like I said earlier, we're gonna activate this gate. And it's gonna uh, slingshot us further into space. And it's uh, also playing some nice music, apparently. <laughs> Next, Minimatar Cargo Rack. <coughs> these um, these little icons mean that, that it's a, a container with stuff inside. If it's white, that means that you can um, you can go up to it by right clicking and clicking approach. And once you're close enough, within uh, two and a half kilometers, I think. Uh, two and a half, yeah, two and a half kilometers. You can right click and open cargo. And inside we find a tribal sponsorship. Let's see what the tutorial has to say. Looting content and structures of wrecks. Every ship has a cargo hold, which you can use to carry items around with you. To move the contents of a container in space, like the one you just opened, into your cargo hold, just click the loot all button. This will move everything into your ship and show you show you the contents of your cargo hold. Alright, loot all. Now, as you can see, this icon disappeared, it disappeared from this list. And in our cargo hold, we now have the tribal sponsorship. Not sure what this is, let's see. Tribal sponsorship is a long-standing tradition within the Minimatar Republic. Typically, sponsorship is sought by an individual before embarking on a journey away from their tribe. Okay, so it's basically uh, a starter package to get you started. Docking with your home station. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the station now. And to do that, we can just right-click in space. And under, under stations, since we're only there's only one station in this star system. You can go to stations, select the only station available, and you can click dock. Alternatively, you can go to your mission, agent missions up here, uh, and the ancient home agent home base will be displayed right here. So we're going to click dock, and the ship will warp there by itself. So let's just wait until it get, gets docked. When you dock at the station, it will warp automatically to the station. But keep in mind that uh, you have to be within a certain range of the station. That's usually five kilometers before you can actually dock. But once you uh, are within range, you'll be docked automatically. Alrighty, back home. And we've got ourselves a ship. Like I said, our ship is now hovering in the station, right in front of us. And you can see it in all its glory. Keep in mind that this is a starter ship. And there are ships that are much, much, much bigger than this. It can fill up the entire room or won't even fit in here. Some ships are so big they won't fit into a station and you have to uh, well, keep them out of a station. You have to find some other way to uh, keep them safe. Alright, we're gonna keep continuing with the tutorial a little bit. The ship you're currently flying is classified as a rookie ship. If you ever enter a station with no ships available, you'll be given a free rookie ship. So you're never stuck without a proper transport. 
These three ships always come with basic weapons and the basic mining laser, but they're not very powerful. The ship you're in right now doesn't have any basic equipment, but I'll be giving you some shortly. Click next when you're docked and re-enter the station. Alright, we still need to complete the mission. So we're gonna talk to the agent again. And we're gonna complete the mission. Excellent work, Angela Oscold. For completing the mission, you have been rewarded with one interstellar with some interstellar credits, ISK. This is the currency used by pot pilots. Your next mission will involve combat, so you should learn to fit your your you should learn to fit your new starship now, and I should learn to talk English properly. When you're ready for that, click the request mission button. Okay. First of all, I'm gonna click next. We're gonna learn do some learning about skills first, because skills are one of the most important things in this game. Your reward for completing the mission was a new skill book. These books are how you acquire new skills. Skills are learned by your character, and improving your skills will make you more powerful. Um, one thing to note about Eve. Uh, regular MMOs like World of Warcraft have levels. You can level your character and the, the more experience you collect, the higher your le your character level will be. In EVE Online, we have uh, skills. We don't have character levels, instead we have uh, skills. And there are so many skills you can never learn them all, so you will have to sp uh, specialize. Next. Skills need to be trained. This converts them from an item in the world into information in your head. Once a skill is in your head, you'll never lose it. Every skill in your head has a level. When you first put a skill in your head, it has a level of zero and provides no benefit. You can train skills to improve their level to a maximum of level 5. Training happens in real time, even while you're not online. Once you start a skill training, it will train at a fixed rate until it finishes training to the next level. <coughs> so yeah, what does that mean exactly? Well, it's pretty f straightforward. We're gonna go to the items. Where are our items? Station hangar, station hangar, station hangar. Where is it? Where's our stuff? Inventory. In the ship hangar, or in the item hangar I should say, we have this skill book, Shield Operation. You can uh, normally buy these on a the market or you can find them somewhere, you get them as a reward for, uh, for certain missions. Well, what you can do with, this, uh, with these things is uh, you can right click them and you can click on inject skill, which will inject them. And I think the shield operation is under engineering. Yeah, now it is in here. So it's level zero currently. And these blocks indicate the level. So a full bar means level five skill and you're done training it. For shield operation, we're gonna train it to level one. Gonna right click on the skill and train now to level one. Behind it, it says, it says that it takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds. This is real-time uh, time. And as you can see, when we start training it, it will start counting down from 8 minutes, 16, 15 seconds, 14 seconds. This means that I, if I were to go offline right now, this would keep training. And if I were to come back online in 8 minutes and 4 seconds, it would uh, the skill would be done. And we could train it to level 2 if we wanted. Well, I, I already talked about that. Most skill skills will give you a small bonus. Yeah, every skill has a bonus. And it helps to show info on the, uh, on the skill. And it will describe what the skill does exactly. In this case, shield operation. Skill at operating a spaceship's shield systems. That's a lot of S's. Including the use of shield boosters and other basic shield modules. 5% reduction in shield recharge time per skill level. So this basically, um, for every level you train in shield operation, 
the, re the recharge time of your shield after taking damage is reduced by 5%. And that is uh, very useful. Alright. Um, we covered agents, we covered skills. So that means that uh, this tutorial is now at an end. The uh, keep stay tuned for the next tutorials where we're gonna accept another mission, do some combat, do some mining, make some money. We we'll talk about uh, the ISK, the currency that is used in Eve Online, and we'll talk some more about uh, skill books and commanding your ship. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment if you uh, have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.